Hey there, Debbies. It is E here. So I'm sorry that this video is late. I have recorded it so many times. I don't know what's going on with my phone. It's just been insane. Every time I record it, for some reason, it just, my phone's just doing something weird and it's deleting like video files. I don't have it set to delete uh, files in any, any kind of way, any kind of way, but it's deleting files. And I think now um, the SD card is getting corrupt. So, so um, I'm going to try to go through this really quickly. This is a Timu review of tech uh, and tech accessories that I've gotten from Timu. First up, I'm going to start with uh, the recording accessories. So one of the things I got is this video making kit. It's actually pretty decent. It has uh, a mic and it has a light as well as a, a little tripod stand. I'll take it out the box really quickly. So this is what it comes with. This light, it does not say anywhere on the box that it's uh, three different light settings. Uh, it's it's a high and low uh, so of brightnesses, but it does have different uh, light settings. So it has like warm and cool and like fluorescent, I guess. I don't know what it really is called, but uh, it's nice. Uh, even though I already have a mic and I do have another light, I'm actually using the other light, which is part of another kit that I got from Timu. That's a ring light that came with uh, two stands. It came with a, a small tabletop tripod stand, which is what's being used right now. And then it came with this one that uh, you attach this to the bottom to make into a tripod. I don't, it doesn't really feel like it works well on carpeting so this does not work well on carpeting because look at that then you put your ring light which it shouldn't be that heavy but it is when this is fully extended but this can also be used for uh, a selfie stick yeah so it's actually nice uh to be able to use it for a couple of different things uh, i will insert a picture of the ring light that way you guys can see what it looks like. It's not, it's nothing much, but it's cool. Uh, another thing that I got that is tech gadgetry kind of thing is uh, this ultrasonic pest repeller. Now this is just the box. Uh, I'll put a picture right here. And uh, I got it as a, here in New Mexico, it is extremely, extremely shitty in the terms of bugs. So all of Albuquerque is covered with roaches. Yes, you heard me, roaches. I actually have to close my sliding glass door before night um, comes because they come in through my sliding glass door and a cat, Koopa does not do anything. He thinks that it's a game. Um, he doesn't even try to smack at them. He just like stares at them and watches them. Just like, do your job. You're a cat, do your job. But um, I got this. It says it's, it's effective for all pests, fleas, rodents, roaches, mice, insects, mosquitoes, ants, rats, bed bugs, and more. It's non-toxic, eco-friendly, chemical-free. Safe for humans and pets, except for hamsters. So if you have a hamster and you're thinking of getting this, don't get this because it says don't get it. Uh, yeah, it's basically just a pest control. I've been using it for a number of weeks now. It does say in the directions that during the first 
week or two, there may be an increase, which I did not see. Uh, but it's, it's been pretty good because the neighbors here are disgusting and there are flies everywhere uh, because instead of just taking the trash to the dumpster, people here just have five to six bags of trash just sitting on their patios and balconies. Gross. So it obviously attracts flies, so there's flies just all over the place here, and it's, ugh, sorry, it is just so disgusting. So there's, so there's flies, there's roaches here, and then of course I have to worry about ants, um, because they find a way to get in. At my last apartment, they got in through the cracks of my window which that apartment was not in any kind of way built. Conceivably intelligent. There's so many gaps. Uh, so it's been working, which is great. Uh, cats have not been affected by it. I've not been affected by it. I, I love it. It is also a nice little... Uh, See right here, there's like a little blue light. Uh, in, in my picture, you can also see that there's a, a blue light. So that also works as a nice little night light, uh, additional night light for the cats because their fountain also has a uh, night light in it too. Uh, but yeah, it's been pretty good. I like it. Uh, next item is... Uh, okay. It's it's just like a tech accessory. It's not actually tech. It's a tech accessory. This little uh, pin here, I know it looks like it's uh, like a tube of lipstick or something, but it's not. And I just put a sticker on it so I know that it's not. This is basically a cleaning device for your earbuds. Yeah, because we all have wax in our ears, and at some point we got to clean our earbuds. And so it's actually really really great uh this part here just all nice and soft and fluffy and then this here you can use to get uh, out whatever uh, wax that's stuck in there and i love it i've actually used this a number of times on my um liberty air Soundcore Liberty Air. I actually have, actually have two of them, and I should probably put them in the correct cases, but no. I actually switched them so that the white's in the black and the black's in the white. For some odd reason, my white pair was just not, just not charging the earbuds, and so I like made sure that oh, the bottom part where the little Sorry about that. Uh, the earbuds did that. Uh, the bottom part of the earbuds were not connecting. And so that's why I got this. And it turns out that the little prongs at the bottom of the of this was not, it was dirty. And me using a Q-tip was not doing any help because the cotton would just get into it and stick. So I'm actually putting these away. It's my tech box for when I go back to Seattle. Okay, and then like the next one is, I'm actually using it. It's the mic here. Hello. Uh, I got this wireless lapel mic. It's a set of two actually. So there is a second one that I can connect that I, I don't bother to because I don't need to. I don't have anybody else here with me that needs to record voice. So there is that. It is actually really nice. You charge, uh, you do have to charge each of uh, the mics as well as the actual part that you plug into your 
uh, phone or computer, whatever it is, that part actually needs to get charged as well. And so far, I've liked it. It's worked for the last couple of videos I've made. No problems with it. Definitely good if you are wanting a wireless mic for your videos. And that, I believe, came with, uh, well, when you place the order, there, there in your order, you can actually click on the PDF for the product. So some of these products came with, uh, with a PDF of like how to use it. So I believe this one did and this one did. And then our next one, I think it did. I have to go back and look. So the next product that I'm showing you guys, I really love. It's the reason why I'm putting these away. Now these are sound ear cuffs. And they're basically like, they're basically like, uh, okay, they are connected. Uh, they're basically like earring, uh, earring ear cuffs. You just, uh, so the sound comes out of the smaller end. There is a button that you can press. So I'll just show you how you come on. Lightweight. Uh, I can't feel them, which is great compared to my Liberty, uh, my, my sound core Liberty Air 2. Uh, those constantly fall out of my ears. This not falling, not falling out of my ear because it's, it's cuffed onto my ear, which is great. Uh, there is a button on each of, of them. Uh, that does also come with this. A silicone. It comes with a, a silicone uh, little cover. I wish they had different colors for the silicone cover. Uh, only thing I don't like about the silicone cover is that it can uh, block the little charging part at the bottom. And so that's why this one's pulled off. This one tends to, for some reason, cover it every time I put it in the case, but there are buttons, like I said, on each one. Uh, you do have to pay attention to which side you're putting it on because it, uh, one will obviously move the, your music tracks forward or move it back. So, but I like these. I've actually fallen asleep wearing these because of my insomnia. I, I tend to listen to like uh, theta waves uh, to help me fall asleep. And I've woken up with them on. Uh, see it, they may have, if I didn't fully charge it, they may have uh, turned off, but they've been, they were on my, my ears the whole entire night, which is wonderful. Uh, downside, that I have noticed about these is that is that uh, I've used these just to like I've used them to listen to music while just going to get the mail here in my co apartment complex and as I'm out walking and even in my apartment I've noticed that they're not true Bluetooth because like my body's like blocking like the signal between my phone that'll be in my pants compared to uh, the cuffs that are on my ears. And it's, it is annoying. It does come out. Uh, it comes and goes. It, it isn't all the time. But um, I don't have to worry about that with my Sound Core Liberty Air 2s, but they're uncomfortable. Like I said, they, those fall out of my ear all the time. And then on top of that, sometimes my ear get annoyed. Like I forget what this part of your ear here is called, 
but it gets really annoyed with uh, when I put earbuds in. And so um, it'll start turning red and just get sore. So these are perfect for avoiding that. Um, this is also good for if you want to be able to listen to, uh, listen to something, but be able to still hear background noise around you because I've used it in, uh, I've used this while I've been working. I'll just listen to music off of my phone instead of uh, off of uh, my Echo Dot. I'll just listen to that. That way I can still hear when I get my deliveries because sometimes the people knock very softly. Sometimes they knock really hard. Um, but at the loudest volume with these, I can still hear things around me. So it, it's good if you want to still be able to hear like background noise for things. So I recommend it for that. And then my last item is I've been putting things in their boxes so I can uh, put them in my tech box for for me to move next month, end of next month. Uh, this is the last thing I'm going to talk about. Uh, this is a graphics tablet. It is for drawing. It's basically for those who I'm using it. I'm basically using it as a way to convert from pencil and paper over to being digital and show you what it comes with and how big it is and i'll show you some things that i've actually made so i i have been using this i haven't used this lately because i am getting ready to like do a massive dump of things uh on my move so it's this tablet comes with a pen, also comes with uh, the cord to plug into this as well as into your computer, or uh, this has a C adapter so I could actually plug into my phone. Um, I do have another adapter that I can basically plug into so I can uh, use this use this with my tablet, which it's the same size as my tablet or about the same size as my uh, my Samsung tablet. About the same size. So uh, that was originally what I wanted to use it for was for my tablet, but the computer is actually a lot better. It does also come with more nibs for your pen so if you break that one break this one wear it down too much whatever there's extras and i have to say i've been really enjoying it it has been helping me to like i said convert over from pencil and paper because i'm a traditional artist i'm also i'm also older and never really got into the whole graphics design thing, mostly because my high school uh, didn't have, well, it had it, it just, there just wasn't a lot of interest and it was mostly filled with boys and it was taught by a man. It didn't really interest me that much because I was a traditional artist, basically. And so these are some of what I have been, so these are, this is like the progression of me using it. Um, when I get back to Seattle, I'll definitely use it more, um, especially, uh, especially seeing how my, my stepmom has, uh, my stepmom's an artist up there now, who knew? Um, but she definitely is going to, she's definitely going to want to like have me draw some stuff for her for her line and everything which then means she's got to give me a portion of commissions so it's technically my designs 
her approval. I'm just going to have to practice, uh, mostly practice more with the the program that I use because I believe the program that I use is called Sketchpad and it's free on it's free on your phone or tablet. Let me double check that. It is Sketchbook, sorry, it's Sketchbook. It's uh, that app right there. Uh, it's free to it's free to download on your phone or your tablet, but you have to pay like twenty bucks and some change uh, after tax for your computer. Which I wanted the one for the computer since uh, it's going to be a bigger screen and and everything. So uh, I went ahead and shelled out the twenty three dollars I think after tax it was. Uh, since I'm in New Mexico and taxes are a little bit lower. Um, but yeah, uh, those are the tech items that I got. That is my product review on tech and tech accessories that I've bought so far. Um, there's not really a lot of tech on there that I really want to get other than maybe a, a doorbell camera or like some of the other little cameras to be able to watch. Uh, when I go back to Seattle, I'm going to, my parents are basically building a shed for me to be able to live in with my cats because my stepmom's allergic to cats and it's either put my cats outside, which I can't do because one of them is blind. So she's a special needs cat. She has to be indoors. Uh, the other one is a cuddler. Koopa is a cuddler, and so he has to be able to have access to me. Uh, otherwise, he will run away. But um, they're building a shed for me and the cats, and I would love to have one of those little uh, small uh, cameras that I could just like put in the shed and I can watch them. Uh, because they're Wi-Fi and everything, and they could just be inside the actual house and uh, be working since, uh, well, if I continue to have a government job, I get up there, uh, <clears throat> I can look at them on my phone and everything and see what's going on, see that they're, basically, Coop's not attacking Icy because he knows, he knows that she's lying and he does not care. He is getting revenge for when they were younger. And she would eat all his food. That uh, the doorbell camera would be great for me for when uh, for deliveries. Because I I do have Prime, and so I like to know when I get my deliveries. And um, being able to have a doorbell uh, camera would be great because then also if somebody tries to come and steal something off our porch, I'd be able to see that. But my parents do already have a camera on their driveway so they can see people uh, try to walk up or or whatever. They've even, they've even caught the neighbors next door who don't seem to understand that uh, their dogs need to take their shits on their lawn, not ours. So they've caught them and like confronted them about it and they're like, oh, we didn't know anybody was out here. Like, bullshit. Um, Anyways, uh, that is my tech video. I hope you guys like it. If you have questions on the tech, please, 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 leave a comment. Send me a message. Whatever. I hope you guys like the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, send me questions. That way we can, I can put your mind at ease with some of this stuff. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye. <music>